Yo, what's up? It's World War Two Kitty Hawk here again. Yeah, so um, sort of don't know what to say about what's going on with um, but the Battlefield franchise. I used to be a um, pretty big um, Battlefield supporter ever since I first started playing Battlefield uh, Two back in two thousand six. Um, I remember just being amazed when I first played Battlefield 2 on PC. It's going back a few years now, going back about 12 years. And um, I remember I was used to go there every Monday night to this um, internet cafe and play Battlefield 2. And I just remember seeing the helicopters and the big maps and um, just all the action and stuff. And it was just like a game I'd never seen before. It was something that was... Um, just sort of inspired me uh, to see what where gaming was going, you know. And then I sort of didn't play games for quite a few years, and for about four years, I was going through some stuff in life and didn't really have a chance to go to the internet cafe. And I left the job and stuff, and um, wasn't really playing anything online for a few years. Um, and it wasn't until I came back online in 2010. Um, I got the internet and, and I saw, um, I was always looking for Battlefield 2 to come out on console and I just thought, nah, Battlefield 2 is not going to come out on console and it did come out, but it wasn't as good as PC from what I'd been told by other players and I just thought, ah. Oh. So in the back of my mind I thought, is are we ever going to have a good Battlefield game come to console? And I remember I hired out Bad Company 1 and I thought Bad Company 1 was okay, but I couldn't really get into it because I always compared it to Battlefield 2 on PC, uh, and I'm talking about Bad Company 1 on console, hired it out from the video shop. It wasn't until um, Bad Company 2 came out that I was like blown away. I remember I saw Call of Duty, uh, I think it was Modern Warfare 2 at the time, this was at the video shop, and then I saw Bad Company 2. I was like, oh, I think Modern Warfare was out, and there wasn't really any other games I wanted to play, but I wanted to play a game that was for online, because I didn't really have any games at the time. I'd brought myself a PlayStation 3. I was looking for a game to play online, and I saw that Modern Warfare um, 2 was out, and then I was like, oh, I don't really want to play Bad Company 2, because I just thought it wasn't going to be, any Battlefield game was not going to be as good as, um, what do you call it, as good as... Um, the PC PC versions, but then I finally just just hired it out, and I just fell in love with it, man. I played Bad Company Two, man, and I, and I think I had it for like a week, and then I ended up hiring it out for another week, and then eventually I just went, now nah, I'm going to buy the game because I just love it, and I played that game for a solid year, and then when I moved back from Australia, I moved over to um, New Zealand. I was offline again for a couple of years. And it was about 2011, and that's when Battlefield 3 was out. I remember seeing it, I was like, oh, I wonder if Battlefield 3 is going to be good. But I never really got a chance to play it. It wasn't until about 2012, 2013. I think it was 2013, I finally went online again. So I went offline in 2011, then came back online like 2013 because of my circumstances. And, dude, once I got into Battlefield 3, bro, that was game changer. I, um went from being a sniper on Bad Company 2 to um, being a, a jet pilot, <laughs> you know, I just thought, that, you know, being a jet pilot would, was so awesome because I saw the skill gap in some of the players when I joined, these players that used to dominate the teams and you had to have a really good skill to beat these players in the jet, so that's all I'd done was just flew the jets trying to get good in the jets. And I, I just love Battle for Free, man. And then Battle for Four came out, and I'd made a, quite a lot of friends by then on Xbox. So then I ended up, um, I ended up um, being excited for it. But then I heard they're going to do some changes to the Jets, which I was hoping they wouldn't, because I loved the dogfighting community. I loved, um, you know, meeting just these guys that were just really good at Battle for Free, and I just loved hanging around them. You know, and I just felt inspired to get better, you know. A lot of these guys are a lot younger than me, you know. I was in my late 20s at the time, and I'm in my mid-30s now. But they were, you know, teens, some of them, but they were great pilots. 
and uh, great players and just had so many good memories. And then Battlefield 4 came out and I was just, I was a bit of an all-rounder player, playing everything. And the same thing with Battlefield 4, I got disappointed in the Jets because the Jets were so just, they just weren't the same. Um, you had a stealth jet and an attack jet. You didn't have that one jet that just done all the roles, like how it did in Battlefield 3. And I just felt like DICE, they just didn't really care about the dogfighting community. And they sort of prioritised noobs. You know, people that complained about the jets and saying how the jets are overpowered, and which they probably are. You know, they are if you're not good at flying them. But if you're, if you're good at flying them, man, you can take out guys that are, you know, um, that's the whole point of it. If you're good in the jets, um, it's going to be hard for people to take you up. But that's what I loved about it because it inspired you to become good so that you could be like those players, you know, that dominated everyone. But when Battlefield 4 came out, there was a lot of issues with it. And, you know, I stuck with the game, man. Through all the issues, I stuck with it. And uh, even, you know, just the way um, DICE treated a lot of the main fa fan base, like the guys that just love the game. I'm not talking about the casual players. I'm talking about the people that played it day in, day out. And just the way DICE just didn't give a shit about them. DICE always listened to people that probably weren't even really Battlefield fans. They were people that just came in from whatever game and complained about the game, saying, oh, you know, this, 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 and, you know. And then they took out um, speed control. There's so many things that DICE done that pissed me off in Battlefield 4. And there's so many times I want to stop playing it, but because I had good friends, I, um, you know, I stuck with the game. And it wasn't until I got into flying helicopters and little birds I just love the game, bro. I, I, it's, uh, it gave me a whole new... It revitalised the love for Battlefield when I started flying helicopters. And then I moved over to PlayStation 4. I was on Xbox for for the beginning of um, Battlefield 4. And also I played um, Battlefield 3 on Xbox. But then I transitioned over to PlayStation 4. And I, I played, played it for like more than 2,500 hours on PlayStation and met a lot of great people, had heaps of good memories, joined a good clan, and just had so much fun, man, I, and I really loved Battlefield, even though there was things that I didn't like, Battlefield 4, um, I felt like it was still a solid solid game in the end, even after we got through all the issues with the game, and then the game started becoming, you know, more stable, and better netcode, and etc, etc, but one thing I didn't like was, um, the direction Battlefield was starting to go in, like they bring a hard line, I was just like, that was just a game I couldn't get into, I I tried it, I just felt like a watered down, it didn't feel like, it didn't inspire me the way, like how Battlefield 2 did on PC, or Bad Company, Battlefield 3, and then even Battlefield 4, you know, but I could sort of see the decline in Battlefield starting to come in through Battlefield 4, what the developers were trying to do, and now, then they had Battlefield 1, <laughs> And at first, I was thinking it would be cool to go back in time and play a, a Battlefield game um, that's, you know, goes back into World War Two or something, you know. Um, but then I went to World War One. I, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I think Battlefield One's a good game, but it, I don't know, man. It, it looks beautiful. It's, you know, it's smooth. I like the gun mechanics in it. I think playing as an infantry player is fun. The planes are pretty good, you know. I, I play fly in the planes, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't inspire me the way the other games did, you know, the other games made me feel like, man, this is just a one-of-a-kind type of franchise, you know, and now with the news of what they're doing and, the, and, and what they're doing towards the fans with Battlefield 5 has really disappointed me, I felt like they shouldn't have gone to World War 2, they should have maybe tried something different because, you know, after playing Battlefield 1, it's... The game was just, I don't know, man, it just, just didn't capture me, man, the way the other Battlefields did. But now with all this um, political correction and stuff, or, you know, social justice stuff that you hear about, the new Battlefield, and um, even having the female characters in the video and stuff, I don't know, man, I just don't feel like I, I'm a, I'm a big history person, man, I, I love history. Because when I first saw the clip of the, the woman um, running the clip, I was thinking to myself, hmm, she might be from the French Resistance or something, because I know that there's women that were in the French Resistance. But when I found out <laughs> that she's like a, 
a woman fighting the British Army on the front lines, I was just like, bro, this is a gender. People are just pushing a gender, man. Like they they're just trying to. There's just there's people in this world, man, that are trying to change our world, and and I don't necessarily think for the for the better, man. They're just they're trying to shape the world and their image, and they're not. They're not really listening to other people's voices or opinions. They, they, they're taking the opinions and voices of certain people, and they're trying to. I don't know. Don't want to say brainwash, but it's almost like they're trying to like. Uh, well, yeah, I guess maybe it is brainwashing, but they. It's like they're trying to. Um, I don't know, man. They're trying to um, just force the ideologies on people, man, and. To be honest, I'm just sick of it, bro. I'm just sick of it. Seeing it on Facebook, seeing it on YouTube, seeing it on the news, just just all this political correction and where people are going on this world, and it it's just it's something that I just don't want to buy into, man. And I, I just I just think that Dice is um I don't know, man. I don't know what path they're going down, but I feel like games are getting ruined and movies are getting ruined, like Star Wars. Star Wars isn't. The Star Wars they make today is not the Star Wars that I enjoyed as a kid, man. I just feel like it's, things are too political now. Things are too uh, trying to please certain people instead of just being how it used to be, man, where games were just games, movies were just movies. Um, people just like to tell stories. You know, now it's like tell a story with an agenda attached to it. You know, you're not going to shape, you're not going to change people's minds about issues in life if you're forcing it down people's throats. You know, like... Uh, you look at me, man. I, I've got I've got my own beliefs, and you know uh, I've got my own faith, but I'm not gonna create stuff um, and force it onto mainstream people and go, hey, look, you're a bigot or you're an idiot or you're an ignorant if you don't believe this way, because that's just who's gonna ever want to receive that sort of message, you know? Uh, if you want to change people's minds, you've got to do it in a way that's not, um, I don't know, man. Not just don't be forceful. You know, these, you know, and then I hear what this, the guy, one of the guys and that works for EA or DICE or whatever that's, um, you know, pretty much telling people, oh, don't buy it, don't buy the game if you, you know, if you can't handle it or whatever. You know, I've just seen some videos about it. Dude, honestly, man, it's not the right attitude to have to your consumers, man. You've got to, you've got to listen to what people want. If you want, if you want to sell anything in this world, man, you have to know what people want man you have to you have to um you have to listen to feedback you know you can't just say oh you're ignorant you're stupid whatever if people don't like what you're putting in their games man you know so at the end of the day man um i think the decline for me towards battlefield sort of really started around battlefield 4 it, it you know even though i like battlefield 4 it just it started becoming the franchise that I don't want to um, uh, associate with now. And it's disappointing because I really like the game. But now there's other games I play that I enjoy. And uh, these games don't seem to have these political agendas put on them. Don't put political agendas in my games, man. All my movies because I'm not going to watch them. There's a lot of movies recently that I don't watch. Just sheerly out of principle. You know, I'm not going to have you tell me that I'm a bigot or an idiot or whatever just because I don't believe the way you do and I'm not going to buy your games or, or play watch your movies it's that simple and I'm glad that some people are starting to realize um that and you know um I've got no problem moving on from from things man if people um do this man because I'm sick and tired of it bro I'm, I live in a country where um, that's all you hear on the radio is these political agendas man and I'm just over it I, I don't think that way, I don't think the way they think, I look at the world a lot differently, and I'm not going to be um, uh, brainwashed into believing something you believe strongly, you know, I can make up my own mind, and I don't want you putting it in my games or my movies, I just won't, I just won't, <laughs> I won't play them, and you know, um, yeah, good luck to DICE and EA, man, um, if this is how they're going to treat people, man, they're going to they're not really going to listen to the fan base. They're just going to completely ignore the people that have put money into their pockets to suit a certain group of people. Well, more power to the man because, you know, it is what it is if that's what you're going to do. But just know there's plenty of other developers out there now that are making great games and we're playing them. So 
anyways, um, that's sort of my little bit of a journey away from Battlefield and why I don't really play it no more. And um, hopefully things get better with the franchise again. But if not, so be it. There's other games out there that we'll that we're gonna play, and there's yeah. So, anyways, we'll we'll two Kitty Hawk off. Peace.